So it's the afternoon of the 3rd of uh, February. Um, landed back. Great, uh, great five days in the States. Um, got our videos in every day. Wi Fi is not the best, so I'll upload uh, a couple of them. I uh, fun one yesterday in, in uh, Las Vegas uh, before we flew home. And um, yeah, thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed the whole uh, the whole experience. Um, great to build on the partnership with Titan. Um, only going to get stronger now that that's uh, that part's closed off. First one, first one down. Uh, so next, uh, probably next month, I would say. Um, end of March, back out again. So just to finalise finalise that. Um, but 365 perspective, uh, everything's going really well, absolutely really well, uh, totally enjoying that. Um, it's great just to get a bit of football in every day, um, to make sure it's, it's done and, and you're constantly on it. Uh, so now, with this trip over done with, it's going to get uh, extremely busy now on the GPS side of things. Um, and then, got straight back into new terms all the new terms will start back from this week so all uh, all rebooking so we've got um, a couple of things in the pipeline uh, which is it's going to be very positive so we will uh, continue to continue to build uh, this evening now get a one-to-one -one session um, get that completed and then we will back into uh, Enfield's Academy for tomorrow. Uh, Wednesday we got Mabin. Um, Thursday we have Trim. Friday uh, Minute and Shells. Sorry, Wednesday we got uh, Mabin and Shells. Uh, Thursday Trim. Friday uh, Minute and Shells. Saturday a uh, busy one with uh, Double Trim and then we kick back off then for Enfield which is great. And Sunday game. So, it's all good. It's all go. It's all uh, three six five. Sorry, much needed coffee. A um, couple of things. I've been away now for five days. Back, just back now today. Um, an hour or so ago. Um, some things always happen. That's always a challenge when you're away that you're not necessarily there to support if something happens. And, um, just found out about three hours ago that my son's, one of my son's best friends, dad, passed away yesterday. And when Daniela was looking for me to bring home, she looked upset and I thought, oh, what was happening? So she explained to me what happened. I think that sometimes can bring it home for people that, uh, that life could be switched off in an instant um, without any forewarning. And unfortunately, uh, there was no warning with this. And it's uh, just a health matter, and that's that's the way it, the way it was. But uh, it's devastating for the kid uh, as parents. Parents now are going said it was junior said mocks this week and have to take him out now to see him and just have a chat with him about it. Um, there's always these challenges as a parent. So yes we run yes we run businesses, yes we we push ourselves uh, to work hard, achieve more, and uh, do extra. But the reality is, when it's over, when that final whistle blows in the, the game of life, you won't know it. Um, and left behind you will be your family, your friends, uh, co-workers, whoever you have, your kids. Um, and for your kids, I think it's, as a parent, it's what upsets me a lot. When I, that initial moment when I pull away from the house, when I go away, it's always the first thing on my mind. When I get the car, set the car, pull away, is the appreciation for my kids and my wife that they are, that I'm hoping and praying that they're there when I'm back and that I get to come back to them. So, 
four miles away from the four or five miles away from the house now. Um, it's great to um, get back home after a brilliant uh, experience. Uh, but I always have in the back of my mind um, that life is very short. Very, very short, you've no control over. You cannot stop time. You can make more money, you can change a lot of things in your life. You cannot stop time. You cannot get more of it when your time is up. And you cannot you cannot buy more, you cannot bargain for more. And we have no control over most aspects of when that ends. So I'm not talking about health, as you look after your health, or you may not look after your health, and that might affect it or whatever, but uh, there's accidents, there's everything as to why it can end before health reasons. And I, about two years ago now, um, had written a letter to Danielle before flying home from Lisbon one time, and it was about to go into it, was a, a hurricane hitting Lisbon. I can't remember the name of it, but it was about to hit, and we were the last flight to leave Lisbon. And as we're leaving, the lights are flickering on and off, and the power in the air, in the, in the terminal. And when we took off, the first initial uh, 60 seconds, fine. Then we literally got bashed around for the next 10 minutes or so, 10 or 15 minutes, and that's unnerving. So before that, I'd written a letter. I'd given it to, I'd sent it to the by email. I'd just finished it the, the airport before I left. And I'd actually said, and I would recommend anybody to do this, especially if they travel, especially if they've got young kids or kids or partners or wives. Um, to put everything down on paper that you would ever have wanted to say that you didn't say or wasn't the moment to say it or you're going to potentially miss moments of their life um, to put those on paper of what experience or what uh, guidance or thoughts you would have such as wedding days or whatever uh, first college days first, first day of school if they're younger um, all of these things because when you're gone that voice will never be heard again That's don't, your thoughts will never put back on paper or be or be uh, be known. So I find it quite comforting that I did that two years ago. I remind that yeah when I am flying away don't forget about that email. Um, not that you ever want it to be read or to come to fruition that it has to be but um, there's an element of peace in knowing that you have left your final thoughts and what you want um, for your uh, for your family and as I said for me it's a bit of advice I give to anybody uh, I'll turn 35 this week touch wood and um, bless that I live the life that I live uh, get to do the job that I do yeah, help could be better. Yeah, all these other things that we're kind of working on. Um, but it's a bit of a blessed life when you get to do the one thing that you want to do. Um, and you can travel and see the world. And, and you're given the support and freedom to do that. But I would say that uh, if I didn't have those words down, I wouldn't be as uh, comfortable Here, um, 
as that happens, I would say that make sure your loved ones know how you feel and never go to bed on an argument. And if you can make somebody's life a little bit better today, tomorrow, uh, make sure you do what you can to do that because passing, uh, passing moment, a nice moment that you can leave with somebody might change their day today or their day tomorrow for the better. So that's all I can say. It's, uh, the journey's going well, enjoying it and we're going to start to pull together these videos of the vlog and the journey of running a business separate to um, kind of 365 because it's more business and life based um, while Talk365 is all about the sessions, the foot, the football. Um, behind the football is the person and behind the person is the life experience. So.